Sit down. Whoa! Stop fighting or I'm gonna tase you. You can't kill dogs! It's just cool. Let's get him in the shade or get him in my car. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, girl. Dogs love their owners more than anything, but sometimes a few of them have been unfortunate enough to end up with awful owners, leaving cops no option but to rescue them. What happens when cops rescue dogs from horrible owners? I've been here at least 40 minutes. The okay. dog would have been in the truck, okay? Here are several examples of when cops rescued dogs from horrible people. Starting with the case of this dog that was abandoned in a burning vehicle. Oh my god! Where's it at? Come on, buddy. I kicked you! Come on! Come on, here. On January the 22nd, 2022, police officers were alerted to a crazy incident of a burning car. But the insane twist was that a dog was trapped inside. When the officers arrived at the scene, this happened next. Wait, no, there's a dog in the car! Dog in the car? Oh, oh my god! Where's it at? There's one in the back. Right here. Right here? Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. Hank. Is it unlocked? Yeah. Right there. There's some sort of manual lock. It's right here. Come on. Hey, come on. Come on, buddy. I kicked you. Come on. Come on, Hank. Oh, god. In the end, a veterinarian in the area checked the dog and ensured he was fine. Next, we look at this pathetic case of a woman who threw her dog off a motel balcony. Stop fighting or I'm gonna tase you. You can't kill dogs! On December the 14th, 2020, Daytona police and deputies responded to the scene where a woman named Allison Murphy was threatening to jump off the balcony. When police arrived, it was already a chaotic scene. Where is she at? Where is she at? That one? We got a uh, female. I guess she's threatening to jump over the rail. She's right here in this room. Yeah, if you guys can just jump over here. All right. Appreciate it, man. Things took a different turn when Allison hesitated to open the door for the officer, but instead did something extremely stupid. Sheriff's office. Sheriff's office. Ask him if he has a key. What are you? Stop fighting or I'm gonna tase you. You can't kill dogs! I know. I can kill You can kill dogs. You piece of shit. After throwing the dog over the balcony, Allison then began to resist and fight the police officers who were trying to detain her at this point. However, things did not end well for her. We got our arms. We got our arms. We got our arms. We got our arms. Yep. I'm not scared. Hey, Mom, make sure no one else is in here. Yeah. You know about that? Yeah. All right. Well, I know where she's going now. What the? F is that dog okay? Yeah, it took off running. I tried to grab it. All right. Well, let's get her away from this wall. Yep. The restaurant clear? Yeah. Yeah. I get up. Come on. 
Turn over. There it is. There we go. Now we're making strides. Huh? She comes running out. The dog was loose. She grabs a hold of it. Uh -huh. And we all thought that she was just going to grab the dog and probably bring him back inside. But she fucking right over the rail. She just like, threw him over the rail. In the end, Allison was arrested for felony charges of animal cruelty, and the Volusia County Animal Services took custody of the dog. If you thought that was bad, then you should see the case of these dog owners who left their puppies in a hot car. It's just cool. Let's get them in the shade. How are we getting them in my car? On June the 26th, 2017, the attention of Officer Anthony Giorgio was called to a horrifying situation where a horrible dog owner locked their dog in a hot car. After trying to locate the owner to no avail, the officer had no choice but to do what was needed. Buddy. Hey, Sarge, this 182, this, uh, it's a puppy and I, I can't see it, but it's crying. It appears to be in distress. I'm in front of the food court right now. Come here. Come here. Come here, little guy. Come here. Come here. After spending a long time locked up inside a hot vehicle, the puppy was in a bad condition. And the only question on everyone's mind was if the dog had any chance of survival. Right. Y'all got any water? Yeah. I do. It's not really cold because I've had it. A one while. added to the pencil. My hands got hand cold. Yeah, one eighty two. Oh, Monique Richardson quick. can find nothing. Go ahead. Put a note I had to make injury into the passenger uh, front window. Oh, he's so thirsty. Yeah. Oh, look at him. He knows. Go there. Yeah. Oh. Let baby. me. If you don't mind holding him. Let me grab sure. a. Let me grab something real quick and get him some water. Where's he at? Yeah, got some cool water. That's hot. Oh, okay. We'll pour that out. This is not that cold, but it's cool. Good. Okay. It's just cool. Let's get him in the shade. How are we getting him in my car? Come on. Stay down. I will put you right here for right now. Right there. Get this AC. Uh, yeah, I mean, I got, I have two small dogs at home. These little guys, it's just... However, the issue was far from over. The vehicle owners finally showed up after an hour, and this is what the officer had to say to them. It's been at least 20, 30 minutes since we got here, and then now it's almost an hour or so, and they still haven't came back. Yeah, well, there was, there was... That dog would have been by then. The yeah, well, we, we got the call at 12.55, yeah. um, and, you know, so... This little yeah, puppy would have probably been dead if we didn't... And I got it at uh, 117. Yes, yeah, sir. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's after 130 now. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Sir, can you come over here for a second, please, so we can finish all this? I can't hear you. Yeah. Last broke. Y'all just took the dog. Y'all gonna say it's too cool, cool to the hounds and have the dog in the field. Cool that but that point of time, but we're finna leave and go back home. I get what you're the, saying. We got food in the car right yeah. now. They, they, we don't even want the small. I understand that, but also it's been an hour and 15 minutes now that y'all have been in there, at least since we've been here. Uh, so that dog would have been in there in 94 plus degree temperatures for an hour and 15 minutes. So what's going to happen? 
But if you give me a second, let me write all this information down. I'll tell you everything. I just okay? see you nervous. You shaking? That's what I'm talking. But I'm not. I'm not nervous. I've been out here in 100 degree weather for over an hour. So you just need to get your information. Here you go, buddy. Right. Yeah, no. The only reason why I'm shaking is because I've been standing out in this 90 degree weather with full polyester. Yeah, yeah. Basically, what happened, guys, is um, I came up. Um, and unfortunately, the dog was in distress, and I couldn't get in your vehicle. Yeah. We couldn't make contact with you guys. So per Florida law, we're actually allowed to break the window, um, and that's what we did. So we broke the window to get the dog. So if y'all have any questions about that, I can give y'all a case number where you can reference the whole report. I can get that in just a second if you want to, um, and then you can go from there, okay? So you got the number with the, the, the uh, animal, animal control. control so I'm going to give them y'all's information, and they'll give y'all a call. The thing is, they're not open on the weekend for the public, so the number we, that we can give you, they're not going to answer them. So we're gonna try to get in contact with them. That's he should. Three grand dog, man. He should. Hey, hold on, man. I'm trying to tell you what the thing is. I'm, I'm, he I'm should. He that. should try to get a hold of you here very recently. It's just we don't have any way of contacting him yeah. until we leave a message with him. Then they'll be able to get yeah. back. Yeah. So yeah. if you're gonna be in town for at least another hour or so, yeah. I'm sure he'll call you within that time as I'm getting it. So and then we can at least figure out what you can. Want to get that? Yep. In the end, the puppy survived, and the puppy's owners were cited by the Escambia County Animal Services. Next, we look at the case of this woman who starved her dog. This is what but, he looked like the see. day that we got him. He's still pretty thin. Wouldn't you agree, Officer Taylor? Doesn't eat for us. Like he eats, well, here's here's my problem. Lot. You guys should have taken him to the vet and gotten him looked at. Since you have the dog in your name. On January the 16th, 2022, body cam footage of police officers from the Cleveland, Ohio area showed the moment a woman was arrested for maltreating her dog. When the officers arrived at the scene, this is what happened. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of stuff on there. Yeah, there is. Good. What's up, boss? That's yes. what I was in do, the you, do you have the dog too still? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so can, can you go grab him get, for me real quick? The dog is actually his. Whose is it? Mine. His? Okay. His. Picture that Hang on a second. Asked for. You need to see my ID or anything? No. Oh. Um. Yeah, if you got it handy, that'll work. Yeah, I got it. Just read this real well, quick. No. My truck is old. Don't make fun of her. No, I, so. I love old trucks. Right, so I was wrong. I she, uh, got him in October. I thought it was a couple months. You got this dog in October? Yeah, I thought it was a couple. Not months. the one that we took yesterday, right? Right. Okay, so you've had him since October. Wow. Yeah, and I okay. thought it was like recent so i apologize my hand all right um but i have the picture of when we first got him and he looked way worse while speaking with the officer the lady tried to lie about the condition of the dog but the officer was just too smart to allow her to manipulate her way out of the situation do you have the vet any vet paperwork from october till April now has he, been in the vet? he yeah. has not he, how come yeah, the paperwork says, the he was paperwork updated says on there that uh, his uh, his shot records well, were up to date but i haven't year. taken them yet i understand that, but due to his condition being that thin mm -hmm. Wouldn't you think that you probably should take him to the vet and see what's yeah. going on? Why haven't you guys done that? I mean, because he's been oh, eating, so okay. I don't really think, because he's not throwing up, he's not okay. showing any signs of sickness. I mean, he's okay. eating. Okay, that's good. Like, when we brought him back, because we took him over there. Rabies, okay. And when you weren't there, and he's and got all of he was, like, scared, so that's why I come over here. Okay. But um, he came back, and I fed him again, and he was actually eating for me this time. Okay. But this is what but, he looked like today. See. That we got him. He's still pretty thin. Wouldn't you agree, Officer Taylor? Say he's pretty thin. He looks thinner now than he was. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Looks like he lost weight from that pick till today. Um, but I mean, he just doesn't eat for us. Like, he eats, well, here's he here's my problem. You guys should have taken him to the vet and gotten him looked at. Okay. I mean, any, any normal animal owner yeah. would have done that and there is is there any reasonable explanation why it hasn't been done the only reason is because i'm at work at eight o'clock in the morning she's at work well, at eight thirty. Re okay like, what I do have, you guys work eight to what i, I work, work eight to nine i okay. work eight thirty to five thirty okay but like i can't take them to the vet like i said like with can i danger. there are vet i'm not trying to interrupt you there are vets that are open past five yeah a lot there's of there's the, emergency vets there's the brook park one that was going to take granger yeah. if he wasn't going to eat for me and then i was going to take granger but then he started eating okay i think i had to take him if he didn't okay. show any sign of sickness and he was eating okay so and like i figured maybe i would switch to dog food and see if that was going to help 
It's okay. Um, can you go grab the dog real quick for me? I just want to ask, show my sergeant. Let me just let me talk to this, this uh, sergeant, my sergeant, real quick. I can talk to him real fast. I talk to you real quick. Realizing that there was a technical problem with the warrant, the officers now had to strategize on how to ensure that the couple paid for their cruelty to the poor animal. That paperwork is in his name, so the pet talk is in his name, so I issued warrant, two warrants for her for animal cruelty. Okay. So I'll have to come back and get another warrant for him. Okay. So well, how do we do this? Well, um, you may call dispatch real quick. <laughs> I yeah. thought it assumed it was hers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would just take her and... Just do one count to see if they can amend it. Yeah, just do one count of the animal cruelty and then you got to take his in. You can always charge him later. I can do that later because yeah. he's got to go get her, right? Yeah. I'll just type it up and say, listen, man, I'm going to give you a... Yeah, you weren't aware. I'm just doing a, doing a second one. Okay, let's do it. I would instead of coming back. Let me, call, to... let me call dispatch real quick. Let them know real fast. Yeah. All right, cool. Give me one second. Give me one second. After figuring out how to deal with the technicalities, the officer proceeded to take action against the crazy couple. Sorry. So here's what we got. You, now you're telling me October, right? Yeah. That's that's way too long. Um, so we're going to be in the same predicament. You know what? You know the drill. He's going to have to take... Yep, I'm, not, I'm being dead serious. So here's the thing too, since you have the dog in your name, you, I saw the paperwork, um, you're gonna go to jail tonight and I'm gonna issue a summons in lieu of arrest for you, okay? So you're gonna get out though. The good news is they're gonna process you and kick you loose. So the reason I'm not arresting you is so you can go pick her up, okay? If I do both. Can I let my sister know? You can make a phone call real quick. Just to let her know? Yeah, absolutely. You're gonna get processed and they're gonna kick you loose, okay? okay I have so two, I'll be out tonight, sir? You'll be out tonight. I have two pieces of paper I'm gonna give you. You're gonna sign your bond. And then I'm going to give you the property form for this dog and the other dog, okay? Um, yeah, that's ridiculous, man. I mean, October, uh, there's no excuse for that, to have a dog look like that. And you haven't taken it to the vet. I mean, I, it's, that, that's egregious. I'm sorry. All right. So bring him over. Let's get him in the car. Yeah, come on, bud. Come on. Here, you can take him. Come on, bud. You can keep it. Hopefully keep it. It's okay. You can take your stuff with you. I mean, you're not you're not going to be staying in jail. I'm going to go to jail for a couple hours, but I'll be out tonight. Anthony, you got everybody's info you need? Uh, I didn't get his info. So. Oh, do you need the paperwork? I'll be out tonight. Though. I'm going to make a copy of it. I'll, I can, uh, yeah, if you, you can want. just take it with you so we can get yeah. a copy I'll give it back to you. I'll give it back to you. Like I said, you're not going to jail tonight. I'm, I'm throwing you a bone, man. I'm doing you a huge solid by not uh, arresting you. Um, my sister she can talk to you I can talk to her real quick. What does she need to ask me? Put her on speaker. All right, you're on speaker. Okay. okay. Hold on. This is Patrolman Travato. What can I do for you? Hi, sorry. That's okay. Lady? Okay. So when she relays messages, it's not always... I understand. I, I understand. I, I can't discuss specifics of the case with you. She's more than welcome to do that. Um, I'm just telling you, she's got to go to the jail tonight for animal cruelty charge, okay? Then, be out. then she's going to be out. She's just going to get processed, fingerprinted, picture, that good stuff, sign a piece of paper, she's out. She's not staying overnight. It's just a quick in and out. I think max maybe like an hour, depending how busy they are. It's just real quick in and out. Um, she's going to be given a court date 27th, right, Logan? 27th was a court date. 27th of January is going to be her court date. Nine o'clock Berea, okay? It's a personal bond. I can tell you that I got the paperwork in the car. Um, based off of what we saw, though, like I said, um, she can discuss specifics of the case. I can't do that because I don't know who you are. I'll do this. I'll can put. I pee real quick? No, okay, I'll, no, you got to do it there. So I'm gonna have you put. I'm putting handcuffs in the front, okay? As long as you're being cooperative with yeah. me. I'm, a, I'm gonna. My phone in my absolutely. I'm gonna search you when we get over to the car. Well, I have to call oh, you yeah. to let you know you can get me. Do you have anything on you that's gonna you're gonna take into the jail? Uh, no. No, okay, so just go ahead. And, just go ahead and put your hands like this for me, like you're praying. Hands together. Okay. So I don't know what day that court date's on, okay? It's January 27th. Okay, but you No, you're not going to get anything in the mail. Okay. This is it. This is, you know, based off of what you showed me today, I, yeah. this is change of course, okay? Okay. So, hang on a second. Watch your eyes. Okay, those too tight, or are you good? I'm good. Okay, let's go to my cruiser back here. Bye, Laney. I'll see you tonight. Yeah, I'll see you in like an hour. Go on this side. Okay. Yep, watch your step. I don't want you to fall and slip. Just be careful. Okay, before you get in the car, I have to look in your pockets, okay? Just go ahead and lift your hands up real quick. Make sure you don't have anything on you sharp. Just my phone okay. that Just a phone. Do you have any pockets in your sweatpants? No. Nope. Okay, anything in your shoes? No. Nope. Okay, let's go ahead and hop in. Hang on a second. Let's lock this side. Give me one second. 
Normally I put handcuffs behind the back, but like I said, I'm not gonna do that to you. You're being cool with me. Step over here for me. Okay, when you get in, watch your head, and there's a seat belt right here. Just go ahead and unclick this and buckle it down here. You gotta be buckled in. Okay? Buckle it where? Right here. Oh, that's so hard to do. It's okay, you here, I'll help you. And then what I'm gonna do, watch your eyes, because of my light. Watch your eyes, and then um, when we get to the jail, hang on a second, this is, absolutely. No, I got you. Go ahead. Where's your keys at? My keys, you have my keys. I do? So what I'm gonna do. You um, my car back here. Oh yeah, that's right, okay. I'm gonna make a copy to Strongsville. I'll give it to her, that right. way you get it back, okay? Yep. All right. Yep. Get me. Yep. All right. Watch your knees. All right. I'll be back, Leo. Thanks. In the end, the woman was placed under arrest for animal cruelty and taken to jail. The male was issued a summons and the dog was taken by the cops for proper care. Agreed that that was cruel. It was nothing compared to this couple who left several dogs in the back of a U-Haul for hours without air or water. When was the last time they had water? Earlier this morning around five-ish. If you're really thirsty, you're in the back of it, um, a U-Haul that doesn't have any type of air vents, any type of, any sort of oxygen, how would you feel? Like you're, you're going to start panicking. On July the 28th, 2021, police responded to the scene of an animal problem where multiple animals, including dogs and cats, were packed in cages in the back of a U-Haul. It all began with a concerned individual calling the cops and things escalated after that. A whole bunch of dogs, I, we told them to take the dog. I'm, I'm, I'm a retired NYPD cop. Okay, um, so, do you... Uh, I don't know these people. They just pulled up and the dogs were passing out. Okay. There was like fluid coming out of the back of the dogs, you know. The flu was coming out of the dogs yeah, like, from uh, the rear like, end? Yeah, because they're, they're, they're like dehydrated. There was the puppies in there. Was the actual um, door the door open or closed? No, it was closed when they pulled up. Yeah, the, the how'd you see, did, how did you see the... I parked right there, uh -huh. and uh, they opened the, the back, and I heard the dogs yelling and screaming. They were yeah. just panicking. The dogs were panicking, shaking and everything. So um, um, I told them, just try to get the dogs out, move it up in the shade. Okay. A bunch of people here, like, you know, just concerned. It, it was horrible. Yeah. You know, because you, you see the dogs. Okay, they, give they me... can't transport the dogs. Yeah, like give that. me just a second, okay? Yeah, ma'am, I know you're here for us. So what's going on? Uh, we're Let's going come on. over here. We're going to go over here because I want to look at the dogs. You got ID on you? Uh, somewhere's in the truck. We're, we're moving, like legit moving. We lost your dad somewhere, so we stopped. What is that whining? It's our puppies. We're getting everything out to put in the car so they can have AC. We, yeah. had, we had them all at a rest stop. See, I got an AC unit right here. We just left the rest stop maybe like 10 minutes ago and we got here. Where's that puppy? Which puppy They're is back it? back here. As the officer spoke with the suspect, things suddenly became weird when he began to act clueless. And that was when things took a different direction. Gotta get him some water, though. I, can't, I don't have... I can't get a hold of her dad. She's gotta hold my dogs. All right, I, just for a second. Let's get the dogs water. Where's the water? I don't know. My Her, her father's... I, we okay. Lost her somewhere. So. Hang tight. Let's get the water because... Actually, grab them dogs out because... I'm trying, ma'am. I'm just freaking hold on. out right now. Grab that puppy. Grab those. Grab them. They're dying. Do you understand I know, this? I know this. I, I, Do you understand that? I'm, I'm trying to get them some get, water. Give, give them me them. those dogs now. Oh, give me the dogs. Give me the dogs. Give me the other one now. Give me that one. Yeah, give me that one. Let's get them some water. <sighs> They're all sweating. You should not be having them in the um, car. I know, man. Bring them over here to me, please. Yes. No, I'm gonna put him in my front car. They weren't supposed to take this long. We had medicine that all right, baby. all night. All right, sweetie pies, we're getting ya. Can we open the door? No, I got it. Yes, Taylor, hey, we're. I need. You got water? Water? Do you got, I have money. I hey, come here. Come, run come run right here. But it's all in her wallet. You got it. Put, the wallet. All right. Put all these dogs in the. I mean, there. I need you to grab um, a water bowl. Grab a water bowl out of your pen. Yes, ma'am. They're okay. they're highly dehydrated. They're they're, they're literally on to the verge. Is there more in there? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, Oh my god, this is, I've never seen this before. Um, yeah, like check on the other dogs really fast too. Yeah. Yeah, this 
one is really good. When was the last time they had water? Uh, not too long ago. We also put ice in here for them because they're huskies. Okay. We didn't think it'd be this bad on them trying to move. Hey, puppies. Hey, kitties. Those are all my cats. There's four of them. Thank you. As they helped to get the dogs rehydrated, it became clearer how bad their condition was. This only made things worse for their owners. Order. Sorry, maybe you want to have that dog lay down because he's about to pass out. I know, trying to, sir. Maybe you can see because he's part of the dog. Get the off and some cold water. Put water over him. Yeah, just pour some water on him. Here. Right, right next to you. Shake it. That dog's going to pass out if you don't give it up. Give it. Give it. You're a little disoriented. Just have him sit down. Put him down. Sit. Put him down. Sit, boy. Sit. Sit. Come here, mommy. Come here, baby. 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 If you guys need anything else from me, I'm right down the road. Call okay, me. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. If you need more water, I'll go get more water right now. While you're doing that, I'm going to take them away and start questioning. After getting the dogs hydrated, it was time to determine what had happened and who should be held accountable for this cruel act. This is where the story gets interesting. Can y'all follow me, please? You can go first. We're going to go over here. All right. You're Jason? Yes, ma'am. Okay, where, where are y'all coming from? Ten, uh, Fayetteville, Tennessee. Tennessee? Flipville, Tennessee? Okay, from your address? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And how long do, was the U, is the U-Haul from Tennessee, too? Okay, how long have y'all been driving? Uh, well, we started last night at nine or, ten, 9 or 10. 9 or 10? Okay, so today is Wednesday. So Tuesday around 9 or 10? Okay, y'all are in Tennessee? Yes, ma'am. Okay, were the dogs in the U-Haul truck at that time? Yes, ma'am. Okay, how long were they in the U-Haul truck? Majority of the way. Majority of the way? It, it was in her dad's car, but then we, uh, we stopped that way. He could uh, he could go get us lunch, but then we never met back up with him, so we loaded everything in the back of the okay. truck. Okay, were, were you with him in Tennessee? Okay, how do y'all know each other? Uh, we've been together for about a year. We decided okay. we're getting married and then we're moving down here to start our family. Okay. Okay, where where are y'all currently living at? Uh, we, we just saw, bought a house Yeah, we just here. bought a house down here. That's why we're moving here. We were only about an hour away from the house. Yeah, Tom. Mm -hmm. We like, stopped to get the dog check in on the dog. water okay. and get them out. Did y'all ever stop along the way to check on them? Yes, yes. and we stopped at four different rest stops. And each time we stopped, I did have that AC unit plugged up into a... Uh, and it was, it's supposed to be going through the U-Haul? It was, it was in the U-Haul. We stopped for about an hour each time so that way they could get AC or get some refreshment. We took them out and walked them and then let them go to the bathroom. And okay, when was the last time they had water? Uh, earlier this morning around 5-ish. Around 5? Five? Five That's why we were stopping to try and find some water and, and uh, get them okay. back uh, recuperated. And then we heard all the puppies calling, so that's why we stopped right there. Yeah. I went in there to go see if uh, Harper Freight had any water, but they didn't have any water, and I ran okay. back out, and then that's when I met this gentleman. Whenever you opened up the U-Haul, what, what what were the puppies' condition at that time, or all the animals at that time? I didn't, I didn't go in the back. I just opened it up, and I turned on, uh, I made sure the fan was going, and they still had ice inside their door to blow the air around. Okay. Well, what did they what did they look like? I, I didn't check. You I know? just opened them up, and then I started to check on them, and then while I ran in, they go see about water and everything. Okay. From the interrogation, it was clear that the dogs had been in that condition for about eight hours. But that was not all. It gets even more twisted. Another party as well? Oh, we yeah, but we don't know where he's at anymore. Okay, was there any animals in that vehicle? No, we picked up everything and put them in the back of here. From the other party? You don't know where they're at? Do you have their information? We, we can't get a hold of them anymore. Mm -hmm. Who is it? Who is it that you were traveling with? Father. Your father? You just can't get a hold of them? Do you guys own all these animals? Majority. 
y'all do own all the animals? That's what, that's what you said? Yeah, but the puppies we're getting rid of. We, we didn't plan on keeping them down here. They weren't even supposed to happen. We were visiting here and the family was watching the dogs uh -huh. and it happened. And so we were trying to take care of them, wait until they were old enough Yeah, I mean, considering that we're on the side, we're in the parking lot, and now they're dehydrated, and we're trying to pull them down. Smith, ask them if they have, because um, they have another party that was following them. Ask them if they had animals as well. Okay, what what time did y'all actually leave Tennessee? About nine or ten o'clock yesterday evening. Okay, and then about five o'clock is when you realize that the dogs and the cats didn't have any any sort of uh, water, right? Yes, okay. Do y'all have money? Yes, okay. So at that point, why didn't you go and purchase water for them? Well, we thought we'd be meeting up with their dad, but we just still never got a hold of them. That's why we stopped here to see if we could get everything. Okay, but you also told me as well that you stopped at seven o'clock this morning. Yeah, at a rest stop. Okay, they have water there. They have free water. So from five o'clock to seven o'clock, you knew that the dogs didn't have any water. From seven o'clock to basically, I would roughly say about 20 minutes ago, you still also realized that they didn't have water. So that's seven hours of without any type of liquid. Where's the food and all that? Do you have any food for them? Well, we just gave them the last stuff. We've been having wet food for them. Okay, when was the, oh, where's the last, when did you give them the last five bit of, about five o'clock? Yes, so you gave, make sure that they had food, but no water. You know water is more essential than food? Yeah, that they can survive a little bit longer without food than water? I, I can't tell you exactly how hot it is currently, but just by me standing here, I'm sweating. I don't have fur, so I know that they are, they're very, very hot. Okay, so they can't sweat. So that's by them pa um, panting. That's them being um, hot. So they're trying to cool off by that point. Okay. At this point, the officers went ahead to get their verbal statements after reading their Miranda rights, and they had no reasonable defense for their actions. Tell me in on everything that happened. Uh, which part? Like the whole story? Yeah, like yeah. Time? All right. We left uh, Tennessee at nine, nine, ten, somewhere in between there. We gave them. Uh, we got. We had medicine that's supposed to knock them out for twelve hours. So that way we can make the whole trip at night. But uh. We stopped to rest twice uh, last night, about an hour. So that, that ended up killing the time on it. And then uh, we lost your dad, so we didn't wasn't able to get any of the stuff. But we stopped at five and seven, found out they didn't have water. We gave them food at five, and then we drove. Five a.m. Yes. Okay. And we drove a little bit further, and then I can't remember where we stopped at another rest stop. I didn't even think about getting the, uh, using the water bucket, but I got a couple bottles of water things, but it wasn't much. But uh. And then we stopped here a little while ago when everybody, uh, to see if we can get water from Harbor Freight and then a dolly so we can unload the trailer. And that's when uh, I met that gentleman. That gentleman said uh, he's called, they've called the police that I need to just stay here. Okay. Um, how long have they been in the, have, like how long have you guys been traveling with the dogs in the back and the cats? Since 9 and 10. Last night? Yes. Okay. And where's your, where are you guys headed to? Where's your final destination? Uh, Mims, Florida is where we're going, uh, the final destination. Okay. Um, is there any type of AC back there for them or any type of... Um, well, I had a bucket with a, a fan that had a pool of ice in it to help get them by last night, but I didn't, I, like I said, I did not plan on driving this, this late in the day. But uh, every time we stopped at a rest stop, I do have a portable air unit that I ran a cord to from the building, so that way they could have air in the back of the building. How long? Did you do that for at a time? About an hour the whole time we were stopped. Okay, how often are you making stops? Uh, well, we haven't stopped to much today because other than the five and the seven o'clock because I planned on trying to get to the house that way we could let them all out and then do the normal business. But so you stopped at five a.m. and then seven a.m. Okay, and it's now eleven forty-four. What made you pull over here today? Uh, uh, I really I remember that they've been out that long. Uh, I'm sorry. I realized that they were without water that long, so. We needed to get them water. Okay. When you pulled over, what did you notice when you opened the back or uh, before you opened the back? They were, uh, the puppies were screeching, so I had her come out, check on the puppies while I ran to go see about uh, everything in the store. Okay. And what did the dogs and cats look like to you? I, I didn't. I just opened the gate and told her to come around and check on it. That's, that's so legit. So you just opened it and left? While interrogating the female suspect, she gave a piece of very significant information to the officer. At this point, the officer had enough information to take the next step. Okay. 
So did they have water at seven? I gave them some. I didn't have a whole lot, but I tried to give them some. Okay, did they all get some at least? Almost. I didn't get able to get the white one right here. Uh-huh. And the German shepherd. Okay, so now all of them had water at seven. And what was their condition at seven when you guys stopped? They were panting a little bit. A little bit? Okay. And is there any type of air conditioning in the back of that vehicle? Not when it's morning. When we stopped, we had the, uh, the unit, I think it is. They plugs that in. But when we were driving, we didn't have it. Okay. We have a little fan, but it's not really a whole lot more. Okay. Do you understand the issue with how hot it is outside? And it'd be like keeping it'd be like you sitting back there for an extended part of, amount of time with little to no water, right? Because some of them didn't get water and then with no AC, right? Okay. Now, when you guys stopped, what did you do? When you stopped here today, what did you do? Uh, we, I got out of the check and I tried to open it and check on them. Okay. That's when I realized they were all panting and the puppies were having fits. And I knew that I had, I didn't know what to do, but I knew I had to do get the water because the puppies were even overly stressed out and crying. But I don't... I had just woke up. I would, I'm not even aware where we're at. You're not even aware where we're at? You're in Flagler County. So you're just south of St. John's County, just north of Daytona Beach. Um, okay. Alright, turn around. Anything else you can cover in All right, you know what you're getting charged with, right? Animal cruelty. Double lock them so they don't tighten down on your wrist. All right. Sorry. Go ahead. Put your butt in first. Pray in. In the end, they were both arrested and charged with animal cruelty. If you thought that was crazy, then you haven't seen the case of this woman who left her dog to in her vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, girl. I've been here at least 40 minutes. The okay. dog would have been in the truck, okay? On June the 23rd, 2021, Loveland, Colorado police officers were dispatched to a local Walmart where staff reported the case of a dog that was locked in a car on a hot day. I try to open the door. She said that the dog's been whimpering, he's panting, he's been in there for 15. Yeah. Yeah? And I didn't have a water bottle with me, otherwise I would have just tried to pour some in there, you know? I was gonna say the heat he well, two out of them two forty. I did try the doors, they are gonna be locked. The dog is panting pretty heavily and whimpering. I think it was probably me. I tried to air up on two first. Two forty, what was the ETA on animal control? I can't remember if animal control breaks one house for this stuff or if we, we, we could. Okay. Animal control takes a while. Luckily, after a while, the officers were able to gain access to the locked car. However, the story was about to take a different turn. Do you have your driver's license by chance? Yes. Just so in case yes. I do need a statement from, from you. Yeah. Well, yeah, she said at least 15 minutes. She's on a, a leash. Are you okay? Oh, that one's unlocked. <laughs> Two forty. We got the truck car or door unlocked. <laughs> Let's. Uh, can we unlock these? The back ones. Come outside? Come here. 
Come here, baby. Come on. Come on. Let's get outside. Can you get down? Oh, thank goodness. Come, Come on, on, buddy. It's okay. You can do it. Come on. Come on, girl. Good girl. Good girl. Hi. She's a good girl. Okay. Here's, here's that. Thank you. She's a good girl. Here you go, baby. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Item 240, can I get a clearance on the RP, please? And I know it's probably hot on your feeties, too. Forward to the it wasn't. And... Let's get the blanket out so it's I can tell it's burning our feet. Yeah. You know what? If you want, you can always. You know, we put the okay. blanket on the ground and just keep the door open Oof. for the shade. Maybe that will help. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. There go, buddy. Is that better? You oh, stay down you here, go. Kay. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. See? You just want that water. Here's your ID back. Thank oh. you for calling. Thanks, of course. Of course. Are you guys okay? Do you need me? Go ahead. Anything? No, I know that you have to go. Like I said, if I need a statement, I'll just try to catch Call up with you, and, okay? Yeah, because the already my number. Okay, thank you so much. Even though the dog was in better condition, there was still one thing left, finding the vehicle owner. Tell me what your thought is. On, like, how to handle this, I think we should cite them. Yeah, um, kind of, I've, I've never, never had to cite that. Me neither. Um, but so far, we could probably put it at, what, about 15 minutes so far? Uh, at least. Cause she said before she called, um, she'd unpacked her groceries. She said she, it was about 10 minutes before she called. So. When does, uh, did dispatch say what animal control would be doing in ETA? No, she said that they don't give ETAs, but they were en route. All right, well, fine. I, I was just wondering the same thing, if they would cite and. I, this is my thought also. I've never done it before either, but. I would say that once this person gets here, we'll, we, we'll clear them and talk with them about the situation and say, this is why we're here. Um, you're not free to leave. <laughs> and then once uh, animal control gets here. Thank you for watching out for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Everybody's going, oh, as I'm feeding the dog, you know. Mm -hmm. I got the dog now and everybody thinks I'm doing all the good work. Yep. Um, good girl. And I think he has water in there too. She just keeps knocking that over. Oh, okay. If you want to hold it. You thirst? And in animal control, I I would defer to them and let's find out what they would do normally. Okay. They may very well say, you know what, we're going to do a warning, we're going to do a welfare check on the dog, where do you live, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And just make sure everything works out. And maybe they'll be the kinder, gentler, but we're coming over here at 102 no. uh, degrees. In, and I'm like, in cars, it goes 15, 20 degrees over that. Oh my God. It's absolutely unacceptable. I can't even imagine, right? When I got here and I was like, it's not black, but maybe I'll color it gray. While waiting for the owner to show up, animal control arrived at the scene, and that only made things worse for the dog owner. Hey! Hi. Hi there. So, we can get you a better time frame, probably about 25 minutes now, 30 minutes now. Um, so, the RP, so... I'll let you guys do your work. Thank you so much. You got it. So, 30. So, the RP saw the dog initially at 2.30, is what we're estimating, mm -hmm. and the people haven't come back out yet. Alright, well, and it's, it's over 80? Oh, yeah. So, so that's what you would. We, don't even, we don't even need a time limit. Okay. At 80 degrees or more? Oh, sure. It's illegal. It's still a good idea of negligence, though. Yeah. Well, like, yeah. this is bad. Yeah. <laughs> we just wanted to get your opinion, too, because we've never wrote one of those. I've things. never so, had to write one of these. Yeah, so, so what I do, let me check something out. But, it actually, it's easy. Once it's 80 degrees, because it's that's it. It does. It does. You don't get negligence. Really? Yeah. You awesome. Can add, now, our negligence, what we'd have to prove is um, that something. We dip, give us some more water. We still thirsty. It's hot. It's so does this down mean here. that you're going to give them a ticket? And, How does that work? Only, Do we, would we usually, or would you? Only, I mean, the only thing is, I didn't remove him, I didn't see him in the truck. 
Okay. So I just got to get your info, put you down, you're the ones who found them and, and took them out. Okay. What do you think? Do you want to or do you want me to for our first one? <laughs> I, either one. I think we sh one of us should do it though. Okay. So, so we'll write it makes it a little cleaner. Yeah. Since you, since you um, what would we write it for? Do you know the statute? Is um, it for? We have all the municipal code. Okay. So you can write it what do you use? What is it? I'll grab it for you. Okay. okay thank let me, you. Let me take a quick zap of the. Oh yeah. After waiting several minutes for the dog owner, the cops decided to pull their information from the vehicle details. Not long after that, Michelle, the dog owner, showed up, but it didn't take long for her to realize that the situation was a bit more serious than she thought. Hey, Miss Todd, you got my crybaby dog? Yes. Yes, she's a crybaby. Well, there's a reason for that it's today, the, right? The windows are down. I haven't been in there that long. You have been, though, because I've been here at least 40 minutes. Okay. The dog would have in the truck okay so she she's no she's no not longer in there she was removed 30 minutes ago the animal control took her okay okay so what do i do with that then? yeah thank you so you have to see animal control they left this here and my partner needs to talk to you okay, okay. officer younger is the primary officer on the case Okay. Do you have your driver's license on you? I think so. Is it Michelle? Yes. Yeah. Michelle, I'm Officer Young. My partner. Two out of two are in contact with the owner. owner. Yeah. And this is what they also explained to me. They said when it, when it gets about 80 degrees, anything inside the car still about 90, let's say, is it an average? They said, yeah, we we could have taken that dog. We can give you dog animal animal, animal cruelty charges. Wind? Windows down like that, yeah. stickers Think of this. Right out. This would be the only way that this would work out. Maybe if it was a five to ten minutes. Maybe if you had the car on. Well, I was just getting ready going. to pay for my stuff when you guys called, and I was like, I just left the bathroom. Just, just so you know, all the time puts it in an hour when yeah. the lady called. Okay. So this is about oh, they must have called right after we got out of the car. My dog was driving. So, just so you it. know. Um, do you have your ID with you? I do. Michelle, you can tell me. You can just let us know. I left it in the basket. Is it, is it Michelle? Yes, with no E. And Michelle, is it uh, 9565? Yeah. Go, go get your purse. My partner is going to go with you to go get your purse. Is that okay? okay since yeah, I... you need to get your purse. Yeah, I left it in the car. So what do I do if I have to forfeit it? Well, you, hopefully you don't have to forfeit her. I but go talk to her. I lost my job because of COVID. And I... Go talk to him, Michelle, okay? But go talk to him, okay? Okay, sorry about that. In the end, animal control took the dog into custody and Michelle was given a citation for animal cruelty.